today. Hallelujah. I want to give God the glory for my wife tonight. Amen. We came to be a blessing. Amen. We came to receive. Hallelujah. I said we came to receive a word from God on tonight. Hallelujah. I thank God for Pastor Mingo. Hallelujah. How the Lord is using you in this time and hour. Hallelujah. I think you were somewhere around the same spot where I came out from. Hallelujah. Oh, God is a good God. Hallelujah. I say God is a good God. Hallelujah. And we need to encourage our young men and let them know that it's all right trying to live right for God. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing out there on them streets but hell and AIDS. Hallelujah. I said there ain't nothing on them streets but hell and AIDS. Hallelujah. Everybody you see got an affliction. Everybody you meet got an addiction. Everybody you see got a problem that they're bound up on. Hallelujah. But I thank God for keeping power. Hallelujah. I could have been one of those statistics. Hallelujah. Well, I'm not coming in to be your face. I'm coming to testify about how good God is. I kept me from AIDS. I kept me from diarrhea. I kept me from sickness. I kept me from BD. Are you a believer? church, hallelujah, amen, when well, you know he's good, amen, you ain't gonna wait for somebody else to praise him, you gonna praise him by yourself, when you know God is good, somebody say he's good all the time, and all the time, God is good, hallelujah, some folks only praise him when they got a little money in their pocket, some folks only can praise him when they're dependent on that paycheck every Friday afternoon. Hallelujah. But when you know God will come through when you don't have nothing. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Surely, amen. We thank God tonight. Praise the Lord. We love to praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is good. Come on. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I just want to, amen, let you know that on tomorrow afternoon, which is Monday, we are going to be meeting here right at the church and going out on the street corners to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We can shout in here, but there's folks waiting on your testimony on the street corner. Y'all ain't going to help me get inside. Amen. Yeah. See, sometimes we got to get out of our, out of our comfort zone yeah. and get out there and let somebody know how good God is. Yeah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Yeah. Let me say that one more time. And that sometimes we got to get out of what we at. Amen. And get out there where the work is at. Shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. I've learned how to make the devil elder butler. Amen. Move, amen. Because when he start messing with me, when I start doing if you will mess with me, then I'm about to go testify to somebody about how good God is. Amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. It's so good to be among, amen, the saints of God. Amen. Because I don't know about you, but when I get into the house of God, I come to worship God. Because I think about all the things that God has done for me, and I just give God the praise for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We just thank God for being here. Amen. We had a little mix up on the time. Amen. But happy ever we are here today and we come to join in with you to praise God today in the city of Lake Charles. Amen. Amen. Because I believe that no matter what city you're from, we are serving one God. Amen. That comes to give us blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. We just bless the Lord for being in this place. Amen. We bring you greetings from Ville Platte, Louisiana. Amen. At Harvest Time Christian Fellowship where our bishop, amen, Bishop Richard Frank is our founder, amen, and leader. And we give God the praise today, amen, just to be in this house. We give God praise, amen, for the angels of this house, amen, Pastor Randy, amen, and amen, Pastor Carla Mingo, amen. So we thank God for the man and woman of God that's in this place, amen. We thank God, amen, for the month of July that we're in, amen, the seventh month of this year, amen. And we thank God we're getting ready to go into the eighth month, amen, and we know that eight means new beginnings. And I don't know about you, but after seven months, amen, I'm expecting God to do some new stuff. Come on, somebody. I said beginning on the eighth month, and you don't have to wait till August the 1st. It can start today. Come on. All you got to do is just believe in God, amen. Have faith and trust in the God that you serve to know that, amen, what God spoke, amen, it shall come to pass, amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God for what God's getting ready to do in the life of his people, amen. And the half has not been told. Because I don't know about you, but I stand in need of a blessing. And I'm not just talking about materialistic. 
about to experience a move of God in your life that your friends won't be able to comprehend. That's miracle that's got, that God got with your name on it. Why y'all like it funny? I don't know nothing about you, but I'm telling you, the Lord told me to tell you that he just erased your past. What you been through, it was good that you was afflicted. I ain't got no help. I ain't got no help up in here. And I'm telling you, within the next 60 days, what you been believing God for, God said, I'm about to work in your favor, and I'm going to give you a brand new start. And you just lift your hands right there, and you do that brother. Look, you say, oh, we got to hook up. We got to 
Right. Look, that hooking up thing, they hook it. <laughs> look, that we just going to be low key. They, cause they don't. Hey, pastor, how you doing? See what I'm talking about? You know, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, I ain't going to say that now. Uh, uh, first Amos chapter 16. Amen. Amen. That's the verse I want to raise up here tonight in verse 7. Are you with me? Amen. Samuel chapter 17. Amen. 16, I'm sorry. 16. <laughs> Verse 7. Thank you, sir. Verse 7. You there? Amen. Y'all just take me a little slow until I pull myself together because I'm, I don't come with no excuse, but I am, I am tired. But I feel good. Come on, say amen. 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 So you, you all don't have to work too hard. Just jump in the fire. Is that all right? Amen. Is that all right tonight? All right. First Samuel chapter uh, 16, verse 7. My Bible reads a little different, but we're on the same page. Is that all right? all right? But the Lord said to Samuel, don't judge by his appearance. Y'all with me? Yes. All height. For I have rejected him. For the Lord doesn't see things. I wish I had some witnesses. Yes. The way you see them. People judge. Come on, y'all. By outward appearance. God help me preach it again. Y'all don't get that part. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord, somebody ought to say something right there, looks at the heart. Are y'all in here tonight? He says, the Lord doesn't see things the way you see it on man. I'm in, the, I'm in the book tonight. Come on, come on. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Touch it. Appointed for duty. But anointed for the call. Appointed for duty. But anointed for the call. I can jump right in this right now and declare what the word says. Many are called. Come on. Are y'all gonna work with me? I'm not, I'm not gonna be here long. I'm not gonna be here long. I, 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 I promise you, I'm not gonna be here long. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. Can I ask you a question? And you don't have to answer. Which one are you? Are you called? Or are you chosen? Oh, I got quiet right there. Come on, man. Uh, 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 uh. We're living in a time, amen, and we're in the text already, where David, amen, has been anointed, not just elected, but selected. Y'all gonna have to appreciate it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Which means to be handpicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now, catch it. Yeah. And when you are handpicked by God, Ooh. you don't need nobody to validate what He told you to do. Oh, hey. I don't need you to be comfortable. I need you to be the edge of your seat. Because the truth of the matter, amen, you don't need the stamp of approval. When God told you to do what he told you. Have I got a witness in here? Amen. The things that we are called to do, amen, we don't want to do it. Oh, it got quiet right there. It got quiet right there. Amen. Glory to God. We, we find ourselves like, like Paul said, he, when he said, the things that I ought to do, I don't do it. The things that I should not Here. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. So I need to ask God, watch this, 
But sometimes I don't trust myself. I got one that's an 
engineer. Y'all ain't helping me here. I got the one that know how to talk to people. Baby, I don't care what you got. There's some things that you can, that your education cannot get you through if it's a spiritual thing. I wish I had the right people in here. I don't care how, and I ain't nothing wrong with education, but baby, listen, whenever I need a breakthrough from God, Tylenol can't do it. Y'all have a prescription. Come on. Amen. From the drugstore, antibiotic can't carry. Y'all ain't gonna hear me now. But go to God. When I need God to do something for me, I got to go to heaven university and say, God, I need a miracle. Somebody shine a miracle. David, 
show you something before I close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do it the way I feel? Yeah. I, I was just seeing it already. <laughs> David, David was, was over there. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the back side. Y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. On the back side. Watch 
ashes in the front of his family. You missed it. You missed it. He anointed David in front of the whole family. But that was some family members that wanted to kill David. Y'all know what happened there. Trying to set trap. Come on, y'all. You know you got family members can't stand you because of what you drive. You know you got family members can't stand you because God is blessing you. How dare you tell me I can't have what God told me to have after all the hell I've been through. I got a right to dress the way I dress. I'm not trying to impress you. I'm just trying to live according to the way the Lord blessed me. But what you really don't know if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I wish I had ten of y'all to jump up right now and say, I'm still here. Come on, y'all! 
the elevation. Am I preaching? Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Am I preaching to anybody? After the elevation, something happened. I want to show you. I'm going. I want to show you what happens when you don't let elevation take control of you. But see, some folk can't stand or don't know how to act when they get elevated. Look okay, how y'all are getting funny. What you mean, Bishop? David, remember he was in the field tendering to the sheep. Come on, y'all. The Bible and history says that David, after he killed the giant, prior to him, killed, amen, getting elevated to be, amen, king, something happened. After that, David, amen, the Lord began to tell, amen, David, I'm proud of you. And how many of you know, amen, Saul began to lift up David? Y'all ain't gonna say nothing? Yeah, what happened now? But my emphasis is on David. David got elevated. But um, he said, uh, I'm a king now, but I'm better at my craft because I'm going back to the field. Y'all miss that right there. In other words, he got elevated, but um, he told them, if y'all need me to operate, yeah, as a king. Y'all still ain't there. Yeah, but um, uh, just call me whenever you need me, but yeah, the Bible says that David went back to being a shepherd boy. Yeah, in other words, I don't care how high the Lord take you, never forget where you come from. I'm ready to close now. Have I got a witness in here? Would you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, elevation, and elevation, and elevation, gonna take me up. But I'm still gotta be humble. Can I get a witness in here? I'm closing when I tell you. You are maybe, maybe on duty, but whatever duty calls, you gotta do what the Lord saved you. Have I got some Lord's up in here today? David was anointed. Have I got some Lord's?
some folk in here tonight. That's about to get elevated. Y'all ain't ready for this. I'm going to the house. I'm looking for, I'm looking at some people tonight, not in the natural, but in the spirit realm. That you've been sitting on it. But God says it's time to open up because you are afraid. I'm through. You are afraid of what people are going to say. Call for duty. But anointed. Call oh, he done for the call. So I can fight the devil. Yes. Then to be self-appointed yes. and lose the fight. Yes. I'm through. I hear the Lord says, that's it. Oh, God. 
God and that's the people. I want more of God so I can be right there. So I won't miss heaven. season will have to be small. You can't let anybody just attach to you. You can't, you can't let just anybody just latch on to you. They're sucking your anointing. They're sucking your drive. You pray for them all night, but they're sucking your drive. You pray in it, and they're going back to the same old thing.
I'm leaving here tonight. There's no tomorrow night. There's no Tuesday night. I'm gone. The all has been dropped off. Can I get about three people to line up and face me? Space quick. Give me three. Come on, fool, see shit there, get it out. Back up a little bit. Not you, you stay there. Space out. Face that way. Face towards that door. What do you do when you see nothing but your problem before you? Y'all wow. yeah. insane now. Yeah. 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 All I see is my trouble.